Hello, librarians. Um, uh, my name's Amy Bender. I'm so delighted to get to just say hi to you today and wish you a wonderful conference, even in this strange new world we're living in. And um, I, I have a new book coming out called The Butterfly Lampshade, and I'll talk about that in a minute, but I will say that with, that with this book and with the particular sadness of Lemon Cake, which was my most recent novel. Um, I wrote a good portion of both, or n not wrote, but I would read sort of this sort of intense reading of the book, the place I felt safest to do such a like difficult focusing task was in a library. It was the Beverly Hills Library for Lemon Cake and for the Butterfly Lampshade. I went, went to the one on Gardner, which is by Pan Pacific Park in LA. And there's something about the space and the comfort of the space and the librarians at that one who I know now because I take my kids there and we've been checking out books, books there for years. Um, there's something about the sacred space of a library that felt like a place I could trust because I didn't want to be in my own home, which somehow felt like it would cloud my reading of the book. So beyond that, just the, the place, the, the setting that you cultivate the space for thinking, reading, uh, and just thinking that is created in a library is so very precious. And it has to do with the people there and has to do with what's created by the valuing of reading and learning that librarians do all the time. So thank you. And just to tell you a few words about the book, The Butterfly Lampshade is about a young woman named Francie and her mother is mentally ill and has a psychotic break when one, she's had others before, but she has a severe one when Francie is about eight. And she has to leave and move in with her aunt. And really the book is at a point 20 years later where she decides she wants to really think about this transition. And in some ways I think of it as she's tracking that transition in time because it's meaningful to her on multiple levels as a kind of thinking of an internal and external transition that happened at that moment. And so the book is has some surreal qualities as generally most of my writing does, but also really is um, trying to investigate something about the ways we process our relationship with reality and the way different minds do. Um, and, and how do we how do we place our own mind within a spectrum of different types of thinking and different types of coping? So that's maybe a quick sketch of that. Thank you for listening and um, wishing you such a great 